Hey guys, your girl Christine here, and today I'm going to do a face of makeup while driving in the car. So, at this point in time, I'm actually like trying to find my makeup, and yeah, so there's my soft glam palette, which is what I'll be using for part of this video. Um, first things first, we are going to do some brows, because you know your girl wasn't born with brows, and clearly they are sisters and not twins, so at this point in time, I am trying to make it seem like they're more like twins but I'm clearly frustrated, so I try to raise my arch. And yeah, so I'm just trying to make them look a little more even, you know, as even as they can be in the car. And then we're gonna use some of this wonderful brow gel that I received in an Ipsy bag. And I was actually kind of upset that I received a brow gel that was uh, transparent, but I've actually grown to love this brow gel and I just love the way it makes my eyebrows feel when I'm done. So, I have some concealer, and I'm using my traditional, very, very light concealer. A few dots of that underneath my eyes. And then I'm taking a little bit of a darker concealer so I can mix it in with my normal color. Because, surprisingly enough, I was able to actually tan. And I'm very surprised that I was able to tan for, like, the first time in my life. Uh, let's see. Now, we are going to conceal my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And this time I'll show you my blending out, and I'm only using my lighter color here because these are the points of the face that I kind of want to highlight to just make it seem like I'm all put together. Even though I probably should have put foundation on before this, I didn't bring foundation. So, yeah. Here we are, just a little quick progress update. Now I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Powder to just kind of floof everything in using a nice Eco Tools brush, and I believe it's the full face brush. Now, as I'm digging through my bag of things, we're going to do the eyes. And for the eyes, um, for primer, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I have actually fallen in love with this. So I'm just going to throw this on my eyelids and blend it out using my finger and looking into my compact. Alright, now I'm going to use the lightest shade in the Soft Glam Palette. And I'm going to set my eye. And with just using my finger, I don't feel like using a brush for this, just because I think it's easier for me to be using a finger so that I can be sure that I set every place and feel if it's still a little bit tacky. Alright, so now I'm going to take the shade Orange Soda from the Soft Glam Palette and I'm going to start to buff that a little bit into my crease and I think that there was a little bit of mulberry on my brush still. So the look turned out a little more warm tone than I was expecting it to be from the start. And I'm going, I'm going ahead and buffing that orange soda shade into my left eye as well, into the crease. There we go, trying to make it even, but you know, it's fine. For me, the hardest part was making the shapes even and blending was fine because once I was on my eye, I could understand where I was blending and yeah. So I'm just trying to make things kind of even here and make the shape that I want. And now I'm taking a little bit of Mulberry, which is the dark maroon shade in that palette. And I'm trying to give it a little more depth, which I don't really think is working, but uh, I should add a little bit more now that I'm in hindsight. Oh, so now we're going to be using the Kit and Karma um, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten Karma, and I really like this for cutting creases, which I've been in love with doing recently, and I thought this was just kind of an easy way to be doing a cut crease in the car, since, you know, I was feeling a little bit lazy and I didn't have all of my normal brushes that I normally have, because I have a lot of brushes, so of course I wasn't about to bring them all on a one-week vacation when I wasn't even planning on wearing makeup. So at the moment, I'm currently still cutting my crease, and yeah, you can see that here. And I think I'm trying to do a half-cut crease, but it just ended up going over a little farther than I expected, so I went back and I took a little bit of mulberry. And this was my big mistake. This is where the look fell apart, in my opinion. Um, I didn't blend mulberry in enough as much as I should have. So, yeah, I wish that if I had done that again, or if I was reliving it, I would have blended it out so much more because when I actually got to look at it in, like, a bigger, like, bathroom mirror, I saw how crappy it looked. But, you know, it's fine. It was the car. I didn't expect it to look like I did it at home and had all my stuff there. Okie dokie. So now we are going to move on to some lips. 
And of course, I chose Lolita. I love Lolita from Kat Von D. That's one of my favorites. Um, I definitely recommend Lolita and just pretty much any Kat Von D liquid lipstick. And here I'm clearly getting frustrated because it's really bumpy on the road. Anyway, as I was saying, I do really recommend any of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks because they're so long lasting and they come in so many fun different colors. And I believe that I have 14 of them in my collection at the moment and I would eventually like to have all of them because they are so gorgeous and they're so versatile and I've seen them used on many different places, not just the lips. I've seen people use them as eyeliner and I think they work perfectly for eyeliner. Something I'd love to see from Kat Von D is them come out with a white liquid lipstick just for a little more lip art and that kind of fun thing. Now we're going to move on to highlighter and I'm actually shocked at how blinding this highlighter is as you can tell from my reaction in the video but um, this was a highlighter that somebody gave to me that they received through PR and I was just like hey I'm going to try this and it's such a soft and buttery formula. I love it so much. And of course I'm trying to take that mulberry shade and bring it under my eyes so that I can kind of bring the whole look together. And of course I didn't do a liquid liner for this look because I didn't bring any because I didn't think I thought that would be too fancy. So yeah. And now I'm taking a little bit of a sparkly shade. I believe I took fairy on my pinky and I just pop that in my inner corner trying to make things a little more sparkly than they already are. So here's my look. Voila! You can see where I could have blended more, but you know, I think I did pretty good for the car. See you guys later. Bye!